Shabbat Shalom, everyone. How are you? Do you know what I have in front of me? What is this? That's right, this is a globe. The globe represents our world. Do you know where our world came from? Do you know why we're here? Wow. Well, this week's Torah portion is called Bereshit. And Bereshit means in the beginning. And it tells us all about our world and where it came from and why we're here. So there are three components to our world. First, we exist in a state of time. And also, we dwell in space, and we consist of and inhabit matter. We have time, space, and matter. Well, where does time, space, and matter come from? We have a force that creates the action that produces these things. Now, the Bible tells us in Genesis 1-1 that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That is the very first verse of our Bible. And in Hebrew, I'll show you in English. This is the English right here. And then this is the Hebrew right here. Bereshit bara Elohim et hashamayim va'et ha'aretz. And God tells us exactly how the creation happened with that verse. In the beginning, Bereshit is time. Created is the action. Who did the creating? Well, God, Elohim. And what did he create? He created Hashemayim, the heavens, the Et Haaretz, and the earth. Bereshit bara Elohim, Et Hashemayim, the Et Haaretz. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So we have, in Genesis 1-1, in the very first verse of the Bible, we have the force, which is God, did the action he created. And what did he create? Space and matter, and we consist in time. That is the creation view. But does everybody believe that? No. A lot of people in our world don't believe that, because guess what? They don't like God. So they came up with a different idea and it's called evolution. They don't like God, so they say that there is no God, there is nothing. And then all of a sudden, out of nothing, there was a big bang, boom! And what happened when there was a big bang? Well, time began. It just happened magically when the big bang happened millions and billions and billions of years ago. And then space magically appeared after the Big Bang and matter magically appeared after the Big Bang. Do you think that's what happened? That doesn't make much sense, does it? Things don't make sense when we take God out of the picture. So let's put him back in. So what did, what does the Bible say about how God created the earth. Well, he says that on day one, he created the light. Now the light wasn't the sun yet. This light was actually the glory of God. And he separated the light from the darkness. On day two, he separated waters above from waters below and he created the sky. You might've heard it called the expanse or the firmament. On day three, he let dry ground appear up from the water and plants grew on it. On day four, he created the sun and the moon and the stars. On day five, he created the creatures of the air and the creatures of the sea. On day six, he created the creatures of the land, all the animals, and he created people too. And people are created in the image of God. And then on Shabbat, what did God do? That's right, he rested. That's right. He rested. And after he did all the work of that creating, God said it was all very good. Tov me'od. But there was one tree in the garden 
that God said, do not eat. That was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Well, did Adam and Eve listen to God and obey him? No, they ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. They were sinning. A sin is when we do something that God tells us not to. So then the sin brought a curse and things were not very good anymore. Adam would labor in the ground. Eve would labor bearing children. Their relationships between each other and between them and God would be uh, broken and death came into the world. Animals began to die, people began to die. Death is a result of the sin that brought the curse and caused the separation between people and God. But it's not all bad news because God also promised a Messiah. And in our Torah portion, we see that the Messiah will crush the head of the serpent, even though the serpent bites his heel. That's all in this week's Torah portion, Bereshit. Shabbat Shalom.